today's video is going to be a Makeup Geek haul. I placed a pretty big order a few weeks ago and it came in the mail this week. So I decided to share with you guys what I got. I mainly got eyeshadows, actually pretty much everything's eyeshadows besides I got one contour pan. So I'm going to go through and show you guys everything that I got. So I'll start out with the contour pan seeing as that's the only one I got that's not an eyeshadow. And I got the shade Bad Habit which is the warm fair shade. I'm, use I'm using it. I'm wearing it today to have contoured on my cheekbones and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm in love with it. So pigmented, so creamy. I didn't really expect anything less from Makeup Geek, but I'm just so super impressed. The only problem I have is I don't have enough Z palettes. I actually have two big ones and I have one small one and they are all completely full. So I need to get myself another Z palette or another couple of Z palettes so that I can... Um, put my contour pan in. As I said, I'm very impressed with the contour pan um, and I think it was only $10, which is super, super, super affordable. When you think about like Benefit Hula or something that's $50, um, this is a lot more cheaper and probably just as good. So this first shade is called Cherry Cola. It is like a really beautiful, warm toned, cokey kind of brown, I guess you would say. It is warm toned. It does have a slight burgundy undertone and it is completely matte. Super beautiful shade, it's just, I love buying shades like this that are just matte and like deep and browns and different tones of browns because you can never really have enough of those kinds of shades in your collection I don't think. These will always get used in my collection. So picked up Cherry Cola. Another dark matte brown that I picked up is Americano. This again is a matte dark brown as I just said. Um, this one's more like the colour Mocha if you, or Mocha however you like to say it. Um, if you do have that colour, it's just a little bit more deep and rich in brown. It's like a real chocolatey brown, so another beautiful colour. I picked up the shade Barcelona Beach, which is just a light brown. This is going to be kind of boring maybe because they're all just browns pretty much. I got a few colourfuls, um, but I'm starting out with all the browns. But Barcelona Beach is just like a muted, taupey kind of mid-tone brown. This would be good for like a crease colour or a transition colour if you have tanned skin, something like that, and I just again got it because I love my browns and my neutrals and I'm always doing neutral looks so that's why I got this one. This one's a bit different, this is called Preppy and this is again a matte eyeshadow but it's a very camel -y colour so it's kind of like that baby puke colour or baby spew. I find myself saying American slang like puke is not an Australian thing. Well I'm sure some Australians say puke but we say spew or vomit. Spew sounds disgusting though. Anyway, that's off topic. This is like baby poo slash vomit slash puke slash whatever. And I love this shade. <laughs> it is so nice on the eyes. I have a shade very similar to this in my Morphe 35O palette. So I definitely wanted to get this one when I saw it on the website. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of like caramelly, camelly. It's like a yellow brown and I just really, really love it. The next shade I got is one I can't believe I haven't had in my collection and it is Shimmer Shimmer. It is a pearly shimmery eyeshadow obviously as you can tell by the title um, and it's just basically identical to my MAC Shroom eyeshadow except this one is even more pigmented and it's a little bit more golden which I actually really love. So I have this on my inner corners today and on my brow bone and I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Like. I honestly think that Makeup Geek is better than MAC eyeshadows, if I'm being completely honest. So um, I can definitely see myself reaching for this one over the Shroom shade by MAC. This colour is called Petal Pusher. It's another matte shade and it's very similar to the shade Unexpected. Um, except this one is just a little bit more purpley, mauve shade. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It's more like a lavendery kind of purple. I'm, I'm not that good at explaining colours, you guys will soon be able to tell. But as I said, I just love my matte shades and this is going to be perfect for like a purpley toned look or a cool toned look um, for a transition shade in the crease. Next colour I got is called Morocco and it is this vibrant orange shade. It's like a burnt rusty orange. I love shades like this. Warm tone eyeshadows are my total jam. So this is like heaven in a little eyeshadow pan for me. Oh, it kind of matches my lips. 
Yeah, so love, love, love this shade. Another camel-y colour I got is Desert Sands. I accidentally ordered two of these somehow. I don't know how, but that's okay because it is a nice colour. It's, again, just a real camel yellowy brown baby spew kind of colour and it is quite similar to the other one except this one is definitely more yellowy orange shade. This is another super bright shade and it's called Poppy and it's another orangey like ready quarter kind of shade. Again I love it. I love my warm oranges and my reds and yeah just heaven. I love them. So I'm super excited to do a look using this eyeshadow. This one is called Chickadee and this is one that Jaclyn Hill has raved about for a long time so I was always like oh I gotta get that next time I do an order um, and it is a really bright orange yellow shade. Again beautiful for a crease colour for a warm look um, and it's definitely right up my alley. I love these kinds of colours as I said 10 billion times. I don't need to keep saying it do I? But yeah it's super 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 pretty and I can't wait to use it. Can you guys tell that I like my orangey reds? This one is called Mango Tango. It's another orangey kind of colour, except this one does have a slight sheen to it and a bit of a shimmer. So yeah, I did get the other two oranges that are matte, but I wanted to get one with shimmer because one can never have enough orange eyeshadows. So I picked up Mango Tango. This one is called Motown and it is like this gorgeous, gorgeous deep eggplant purple. Oh, so pretty. And it is matte again. Just love it. This is out of their new matte range and I am so excited to use this little bad boy. The colours just look so pigmented and rich and just absolutely beautiful. So loving Motown. This colour is a super fun colour. I've actually got it through my crease today and it is called Carnival. It is a really cool toned purpley pink shade and I just had to have it when I saw it. I thought it looked so beautiful and it is absolutely gorgeous. I've got it again as I said through my crease and it's super pigmented and blends like a dream like all Makeup Geek shadows do. Um, so yeah, I love 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 this colour. Then I got this shade called High Tea. This is like a khaki, um, if you're an American you say khaki, we say khaki in Australia, like car key, like a car key. Um, so like a army green kind of shade and it's matte again, I just love this, it's like a real dirty grungy kind of colour and I just think it will be perfect for a smoky eye. Um, it would be really good with the black eye and then put this through the crease, I think that would just look awesome just to add a little pop of colour. Then I got four foiled shadows, which are my absolute favourites. I love Makeup Geek's foiled shadows. So the first one I got is called Starry Eyed, and it is like this golden champagne-y shade. It's very beautiful and just light and shimmery, and it's like a really beautiful everyday colour. Um, it doesn't throw heaps of gold, it doesn't throw heaps of rose. It's just like a middle range kind of champagne-y gold shade. What am I doing? And it is so beautiful. They're so pigmented. Like, I don't even have to say that with the foiled shadows. They are absolutely amazing. The next one I got is called Whimsical, and it is a light pinky shade. Um, this is just a super pretty girly kind of shade, I feel like. It's just so gorgeous. It's more on the cool tone side, so it does have a bit of silver in it. And I just absolutely love this shade. The third foiled eyeshadow I got is actually what I'm wearing on my eyelid today, the foiled shadow. And it is called Charmed. It is this beautiful, it's like a silver green eyeshadow. So it's sort of duochrome. It looks at different colours in different lights. And I just had to have this one. I love that it's got a pop of green, but it's so wearable that you can wear it like every day and it doesn't look like you're wearing a bright colour but it still is a pop of colour so I love this shade, I'm so impressed by it. And then my last foiled eyeshadow I got is called Daydreamer which is a light lavendery purple shade and again I absolutely love it, it's just absolutely gorgeous. All the foiled shades are just my favourite, so so pretty and yeah I can't wait to wear this one. I can't wait to wear all of them, let's, let's be real. And then one more that I did get, I just got a backup of my vanilla bean eyeshadow, this is just like a cream vanilla shade, just a bone shade that I use all over the lid sometimes. Um, and I do have another one, I just bought a backup for when that one runs out. So those are all the Makeup Geek items that I purchased. My battery is blinking, telling me to hurry up, so I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any colours that you think I would like from Makeup Geek, then please let me know down below. But that is it from me, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!
Oh, I just took a chunk out of that one. Good one. Good one. And sorry if you can hear the birds, I know you can. 